today on the MC Murr Show. You got to ask, who has this stuff and why? I mean, Super Famicom cartridges, you just never see those. So I got hit up from someone whose yard sale I visited a long while back. And you know, that almost never happens. Sometimes you'll leave a number because they say they've got some other things and they don't know where they are right now. You never hear back from anybody, but this time I did. Uh, they've got a box that's kind of just a mixed bag of stuff. But what was particularly interesting to me is they said they also had a stack of Nintendo Power magazines. And yeah, excited about that. They only want 50 bucks for all the stuff they said they've got. If this is what they say it is, it's worth that and more, and I've got to get it. So we planned a time and I'm heading out. Probably about a 25 minute drive. Not too bad, still totally worth it. And you know, looking in here, there's no panic restaurants in here or anything, you know, but there's more than $50 here, easy. Most of it looks clean and in decent shape. And that's before we even get into the Nintendo Power magazines. They're also in really great shape from the looks of them. You know, maybe some of these will still have the fold-out posters, who knows. $50 holler on a no look. You gotta love that. We're gonna get all this stuff home. We're gonna dig into it. We're gonna see what we're really working with here. Again, there aren't really any bangers in here, but there are some totally decent games. Definitely with some value in this condition. We got the Hulk here, which these games always sell. Anything with a dadgum superhero on it these days. And, you know, gameplay tends to be fun on these since it's just, you know, smashing and crashing. I don't know. It seems decent. Got a real nice Marvel Ultimate Alliance here. Special edition with the extra disc. That's definitely shelf worthy. You know, condition is about as good as you could hope for on these, which means I can flip them quick and just keep on moving to the next lot. Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, you know, we've looked at this game recently on the show. This is the turn-based one that I've wanted a copy of for the longest time, but the ones I get are always beat up and smelly. This one's actually shelf-worthy. I'm almost for sure keeping this one. I mean, it looks like a cool game. It's not an expensive game, but when you're hustling like this, you can keep the common stuff, you know, with no problem and end up with it for free. These are all fun games for the most part. You know, minimal cheese, minimal sports stuff. And there's a few here I would consider hanging on to. We just might. There's also a stack of loose disc games in here. None of which are mind blowing, but if lotted together, they will definitely put some cash back in the old till. There's some decent picks here. The odds and ends in this box include, strangely enough, an SFC version of Fire Pro Wrestling. What? I mean, which I love. I mean, such a great series. And a couple of Game Boy cards too, which I'm also actively collecting at the moment. It's time to look at the numbers on this stuff and see what we're working with in terms of value. I'm looking at a price charting app that I love the look of. It's a great quick reference point and fairly accurate compared to others I've looked at in the past. I'm seeing values on these, totals, and even Metacritic scores, which, I mean, to throw that in there, that's, that's interesting. So we can't get too excited. I mean, there's obviously closing costs, shipping fees, and stuff like that that has to come out of these figures, but it's kind of exciting to see that the app is valuing this pile of games at almost $260, so we know we're cool on our $50 investment. I mean, I would honestly say that we're probably looking at I mean, it's as little as less than half of that for an actual net profit after everything's said and done. But that's still pretty good, and that still leaps and bounds beyond the $50 we have invested in it. So, cool to know, cool to look at. Now, we've got Metacritic scores here. Let's have a little fun with that. So by the numbers here, the coolest or highest quality game out of what we've got here is God of War 2. And you know, you don't need me to tell you about God of War 2, but scoring pretty high there up in the 90s. So out of everything that we picked up, this game has the highest score. 
And it's also a game that I'm gonna go ahead and keep because it's one of those that we see all the time. It's common as a cold, but it's one that I always see just torn up, either scratched up, missing a book, missing the extra disc. You know, none of those problems exist here. This is a really nice copy. So I'm finally just gonna hold on to one of these. So we know what we're talking about in terms of value on these games. That's great. Now it's time to move it on down to the library and check out these Nintendo Power magazines. So we've moved the party down here to the library so that we can check out these fantastic Nintendo Powers that we got in this lot. They're in such fantastic condition and I just love the covers on these things. I mean, they just get you so excited to play not only the feature games, but all the stuff that you see inside, the ads, the related products. You just want to go on eBay and find them all. And this is, you know, this is the single coolest thing about the lot that we picked up, obviously. I mean, you're probably talking about anywhere between 125 to 150 bucks, I'd say, for just what you see here, you know, off the top of my head. Now, some of these we may need, and a lot of them we may not. I've got a lot of them in this range of volumes. The question is the quality of these versus the quality of the issues I have. We may need to do some condition upgrades. I mentioned uh, the fold-out posters. You're really looking for that in these, and I'm seeing them, and they're in good shape, and that is just paramount. So That is just so important to the, uh, to the value on these really great to see and really great to see which games were featured on those posters because my goodness some pretty cool picks there and some that uh, you may not have predicted i mean i read a lot of nintendo power back in the day but definitely didn't read them all so there's some surprises lying in wait here these are very cool and again probably the single coolest thing about this pickup you know, even when you were reading Nintendo Power back in the day and you were reading tips or a walkthrough that you didn't even need, it was still so cool to see it written out, to see the stages across the page, you know, pictured that way. Again, it just kind of pumped you up to go back and play those games again or to play the game at all if you had never even looked at that particular one. I don't know, there, there's just something about seeing the game information in this format. It, it, I don't know. I've got a pretty nice collection of game-related magazines going. Some in great condition, some not, but all very cool to look at. And uh, yeah, when I'm down here just reading something, a lot of times, this is what it is. So man, this is a great haul. I think we're in line to more than likely quadruple our money, if not more. That just depends on how much of this we end up hanging on to. I already know the games that I'm gonna be hanging on to. Some of the uh, types of games that I'm more actively collecting for right now. And a couple of these I just want for multiple reasons. Some of these are ones I've just needed a copy of for a while and finally seeing it in a condition that I'd be okay putting it on the shelf in. So pretty cool, but man, I'm happy with what we did here. I'm happy with this haul. I wanna know what you think about what you saw in this haul today. What was your favorite part of this excursion? Let me know what you think about everything that you saw here because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Merch Show. So leave me something in the comments below. Hope that you like this video. Hope you're gonna drop a like on this video. Hope you're gonna share this video with a friend and most importantly, if you've not already done so, hope you're gonna subscribe to the MC Merch Show. Be a part of our nation. There's a rising up all the fantastic things that we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell so you always have to know when new content goes live, especially content like this one. You know I love doing this pickup show. I love looking at the stuff that I find with you guys. It's some of the most fun we have here on the show. Really cool stuff. And there's more coming your way very soon. MC Murr signing off for this fantabulous episode. And I'll see each and every one of you again next time.